7th June 2020, which were adopted. In her report, she said during the past months, the media has proved that it has a played a vital role in the society and journalists have carried out their responsibilities despite the odds. The downside is that when, what is frightening is that scores of journalists have been harassed and intimidated and attempts made to silence dissent as well as independent reportage. We could term it as undeclared censorship. Not only have journalists been harassed at the district level, but senior journalists too have faced ire of intolerant governments and authorities. Thousands of journalists have lost their jobs and many forced to resign or accept pay cuts. The working conditions have changed for the worse and become precarious. Fear of reprisal for, for has forced media houses as well as journalists to impose self-censorship and thus investigative journalism has taken a severe beating. New laws are being brought in the garb to check fake news or disinformation, the latest being the new digital media ethics code. There is need to debate and perhaps it would be worthwhile if state union leaderships can share their experience and what action they need to take. Safety and security must be of paramount interest. Well, firstly, I want to thank our colleagues in Arunachal Pradesh for hosting this meeting because we haven't had a meeting, a physical meeting for the past two years. And given the fact that it was COVID, and that's my first responsibility as Secretary General of the Indian Journalist Union. What is important is that we are meeting after two years, and there are lots of issues that we have to discuss threadbare. One, the biggest one is that there has been an increase on attacks on journalists. Freedom of media, as well as the fact that laws are being misused in various states by various state governments to imprison journalists, get them embroiled in legal cases by using the sedition law, the UAPA, even the NSA. So that's one of the main issues we're going to discuss. Second we're going to do is we're going to look at the aspect of how we have to reach out to governments to help the journalists who have been impacted by COVID. Because media houses have laid off people and there is job loss, there is salary cuts and unfortunately we had written to the central government to give a stimulus package even to the media like it has given to different other sectors but that hasn't come through. So that is another issue that we're going to look into. Third issue I think is what your own uh, minister has just said is very vital is looking at the social media, the digital policy that the government has which of course we are very upset about because it's talking about um, privacy, you know your question on privacy. Another major issue is going to be surveillance of journalists as we saw in the Pegasus scandal and the matters in the Supreme Court and we hope that the committee is going to give us some kind of um, opinion on it. I mean, some ensure that there is going to be no more surveillance. Uh, rest would be a lot of internal matter discussions in the sense of what are the issues in the states. What are the major issues in the states? Like we know for a fact that Uttar Pradesh is, I think, one of the worst states in the country, wherein you have sedition cases being, you know, put against journalists, like it's become, you know, instead of becoming an exception, it's become a rule there. So there's going to be issues on that. Um, digital, digitalization of media. This is something which is very important. It's not just in India, it's across the world. And that's, um, we've noticed that uh, with digital media, uh, young journalists are not particularly joining the trade union movement and as a trade union organization which fights for journalists rights and press freedom we have to ensure that young people and I hope young people from your state are um, going to get and make the movement stronger. Ma'am what about the uh, Bama Kelly says already talked about on his speech about the policy for this uh, actual journalist and the self-proclaimed journalist what is uh, the idea? See, one thing is very clear, and I think the, the young, you young journalists must understand. Though the word is social media, it's not media. Because when we talk about media, when we talk about journalism, it is that you have to give both sides of the story. You have to check your facts. 
then only do you, then only would you go in and do and write about something. So when you're talking about social media, you have people who just pick up their cell phones, you know, put something, say something, and then turn themselves into citizen journalists. That is something which has to be dealt with properly, in the sense that not just the organizations. I don't expect. I'm very clear about one thing. Yes, there is an issue on social media, but this has to be taken up by an ombudsman, by various or various authorities. No way, even for one second, am I going to allow the government to get involved and set rules for social media. Because if that is done, we will see what we are seeing is what's happening to the media today, where rules and policies are clamping down the freedom. Um, I don't know whether you're all aware of this, but um, the second wave of COVID was devastating. It was just simply horrible. It was horrible not just because of the people dying because of COVID, it was because of mismanagement by state governments. So you had a situation where there was no hospitalizing, no hospital beds, no oxygen. But for social media, posts on phones and people sharing what they saw, we realized that the major newspapers, major electronic media was not covering the second uh, COVID uh, wave because it had come there's a bit of you know complacency I don't know what it was in, you didn't really have much of a second wave mm -hmm. but we did have in Delhi we did have in Maharashtra cases were filed by the government against journalists reporting facts of how bad the situation was so what I'm trying to say is that social media does play a role in fact I think it nudged and it made uh, journalists and I'm sure some even media houses to finally report and question and then make the government accountable on its mismanagement of the situation during the second wave. Okay. Okay. फिर ये सब वजह से भी हम लोग को कुछ दिक्कत हुआ है तो ये सब प्रॉब्लम भी हम आम्स का जो मीटिंग है आई ये मीटिंग में हम लोग बताएंगे हमारा जानेलिस का पेंशन कॉर्पास फान जो सोशियल सपोर्ट सिस्टम है जो गवर्नमेंट से हम लोग मांग सकता हूँ सो ये सब हम बातें करेंगे रिजल्यूशन लेके हम गवर्नमेंट को भेजेंगे ताकि हमारा जानेलिजी आसान हो जाए कि हमारा लिबलीवुड भी थोड़ा सा सपोर्ट मिले ये सभी आज का आईएनसी के अंदर डिस्कशन का मुद्दा है मेनी ऑफ यू माइट नॉट अवेयर व्हाट आईजीयू एनईसी इज आईजीयू एनईसी इज वन ऑफ द हाईएस्ट बॉडी मीटिंग इन इंडियन नेशनल इंडियन जर्नलिस्ट यूनियन वी एज एन एफिलिएट बॉडी ऑफ आईजीयू आई फील प्रिविलेज एंड ऑनर टू होस्ट दिस आईजीयू एनईसी हेरेड इटानगर इन कोलैबोरेशन विद अरुणाचल प्रेस क्लब एंड uh, we have a delegates from across the country who uh, gather here, who come to discuss the generally, uh, generally related issue, issue across the country. And I believe uh, to, uh, in the technical sessions we will be dealing upon uh, the issues we have been facing uh, across the globe and across the India and of course in my, our state. Uh, so uh, since uh, IGU leadership are here, uh, we will be discussing on those issues. And I believe uh, our comrades, especially the young, uh, young journalist friends who were attending this uh, session, uh, I, I, I believe they, uh, they would benefit from say, NEC IGU because uh, being, a, uh, being an affiliate body, I, like I said, uh, it's, uh, it's really uh, you know, privileged to be uh, uh, part of IGU families and we need to stand united whenever the press freedoms and uh, freedom of speech is concerned and uh, we have uh, we have international body of international federation of journalists uh, uh, which is the largest uh, working journalist body in the globe so yeah it's a privilege and it's the first time in the history of Onachal uh, press fraternity that we are hosting NEC heritage tournament Okay, as you have already told us about the issues that you'll be working on it, uh, what are the issues, can you please tell, tell the viewers what are the issues that journalists or uh, you'll be discussing on, on this meeting? Uh, 
IGU convinces says uh, I, I am not authorized to uh, you know that disclose what issues uh, we are going to talk. But uh, I believe, as far as I know. Uh, uh, we we have a state report from the respective state general secretary. Uh, there is, each state has their dynamic issues uh, apart from this uh, bearing uh, COVID issue. COVID is a global issue. I think it's a COVID issue uh, co uh, must be the one of the uh, major issues we are going to discuss. And also, uh, like uh, our chief guest uh, has raised one issue. Uh, uh, we need to frame policies to, you know, identify who's the real journalist and who's self-proclaimed journalist, uh, uh, considering the uh, advent of social media. So I think uh, this is one of the uh, one of the uh, bigger challenge uh, challenges we we are facing uh, collectively in in the globe in uh, in the region. So I think this the issue is one of the issues that we are going to discuss. About. Is there anything else you would like to say? Uh, yeah. Uh, like I said, uh, we feel privileged, uh, especially hosting uh, comrades from across the countries here in Itanagar. And uh, though uh, there is a COVID protocol, uh, we have to maintain, and uh, we could not able to bring more people from uh, other state uh, because of this COVID surge across the country. Uh, I think so. We will benefit from the IG uh, Itanagar, and this would be one of the history one. So, can you uh, highlight a bit about the pension scheme that? Minister was. Yeah. Minister was. Uh, in fact, uh, pension scheme is uh, is uh, one of the long pending and uh, you, you long fend, uh, felt demands of uh, Anachar Pradesh Union working journalists. Uh, what? Uh, why we? Uh, why we have demanded this to uh, our state government? Because uh, con uh, especially the journalists who have uh, gave their entire life to these professions at a, uh, in at a. Uh, uh, in their superannuations, they don't have anything to earn, anything to you know sustain themselves. So, considering the fact that we uh, uh, we request the governments to enhance a pension scheme, and uh, I must thank the state government for you know enhancing a pension scheme amount uh, from our proposal 15,000 to 25,000. So, uh, it has been uh, uh, law has vetted, uh, law has, uh, law department has given clearance to that, and shortly we are waiting for the you know uh, gadget notification. I think it should. Uh, uh, soon it gonna be rolled out. Uh, ask questions, so, uh, any difficulties uh, with so much going on in the capital right now? Difficulties hosting the program? Yeah, in fact, uh, our uh, initial program was uh, NEC is actually, uh, IGU NEC is mostly a two days event. Uh, we were supposed to, ha uh, we, we are supposed to have uh, our guests uh, tonight here in uh, Itanaga, but uh, you know, per situation demands. We, I think uh, we 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 have arranged their uh, their transportations to you know uh, ferry them out from the state capital because there is a burn call tomorrow. Uh, we don't want to take any chance here. Thank you. It's uh, actually it is a privilege for the people of Arunachal Pradesh, especially for the journalists of Arunachal Pradesh, for having so many senior journalists of the country here in the capital city of Arunachal Pradesh. And uh, I believe that uh, from this meeting, our young journalists from the state will get a lot of you know, experience and other knowledge to pursue their future careers. So in fact, the government is also happy with the, with the uh, Indian Journalist Union for choosing Itanagar to be the uh, place venue for executive meeting. And I wish, with them, wish them all good luck. So you have also talked about the advertisement policy for the digital media. When will it be implemented? It is. It is. I think almost rolled out. It will be. It is. It all almost in the implementation. And if there is any hiccup, then I'll uh, look into it. Okay. Thank you.